The Four Seasons is inspired by the work of the Italian Renaissance artist Giuseppe Arcimboldo, who made composite heads, portraits, small portraits in the Renaissance, uh, composite heads, uh, vegetables, uh, fruit, uh, uh, organic material to look like people. And I was interested in taking this technique and uh, transforming it into sculpture, into large-scale sculpture. So our portraits which were a couple feet high suddenly became, in my imagination, 15 feet high. And rather than just two-dimensional, they became three-dimensional. And so instead of seeing a profile, you could see the entire face of the subject. The material is fiberglass to simulate actual uh, organic material, whether it be bark or fruit. It has color in the resin, in the fiberglass, and then it's painted. And there is a steel infrastructure supporting the sculpture. The Four Seasons is designed as a traveling show. I built the work outside of London near Windsor Castle. It was first seen in the garden of the Dulwich Picture Gallery, an old master museum outside of London. It then traveled to the Desert Botanic Garden in Phoenix. Now here we are in New York. They arrived in 20 crates, four 53 feet long trucks, and the work is assembled in parts. So over the course of three to four days, uh, we put together this work. And so when you see a finished sculpture, it looks like a single piece, but in fact it is made up of many pieces. Although the work itself stays the same, it changes in the environment. Here it's in a very formal setting uh, on, on pedestals and the, the sculptors looking at one another. In the desert they, it was uh, more of a kind of uh, a deliberately haphazard arrangement on the ground. So in the desert it was interesting, it looked like the, 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 the elements were part of the desert. So a cucumber nose on summer looked like it was cactus. So I think the, the work is very elastic it responds to the environment. I think the pieces live uh, and change uh, um, dependent on the environment and who's looking at them. Spring is composed of more than a hundred flowers. The elements, although it's all sculpted, there are many, many individual elements, whether they're leaves, whether they're flowers, whether they're roots, that comprise the piece. Summer has a different kind of uh, configuration. Um, less elements, um, bigger elements, there are large peaches, cucumbers, the, a cucumber becomes a nose, a peach becomes a, uh, becomes a cheek. But it's the same concept, which is one of the individual pieces become a composite. And what's interesting for me about the sculpture is you can never look at it the same way twice. Because if you get close, you're looking just at a peach. But if you stand far away, you see, oh, the peach is part of a, of a bigger picture, which is a man's face. What's been very um, satisfying for me, and, and in fact fulfilling, is that it's art that is appealing to pretty much every visitor, whether you're young or you're old. It's so kind of visceral and alive. So playing with Archimboldo's imagination and reinterpreting it allowed me to both make the Renaissance contemporary and make the contemporary art uh, have a root in the history of art. To take um, Renaissance imagery um, and bring it into the physical world, bring it into the natural world. That has been one of the kind of great pleasures in the journey is to, to uh, um, install it in different locations, in different configurations, um, and to have the pieces uh, continue to, to breathe.